This is session number six of Peabrook with Old Black Park. And session number six deals with Lim Luiths. Lim Luiths are very similar to grips. You've got a long, strong low G grace note followed by a D grace note on that low G. So you have a second strong low G grace note. And then you're going to open the channel to an E. Now most of the time a Lim Luith in Peabrook is going to end on an E. There are a few exceptions, but again, most of the time it's going to end on an E. Most of the time you're going to have a high G grace note on the melody note upon which the Lim Luith is played. The exceptions are if you're on high G you'll play a high A grace note on the high G to, and then the, the Lim Luith and then if you're on a high A sometimes there will be a high A doubling but again you're always going to end on an E in Pira. So let's look at how you play a Lim Luith. If you're on low A You're going to have a high G grace note on low A, close down the chanter all the way to low G, a D grace note on low G, and then open to E. So let it, let's look at that again. G grace note on low A, low G, D grace note on low G, open the chanter to E. Again, high G grace note on low A. Close the channel to low G, D grace note, E. Let's hear how that sounds. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, do the same thing on B. G grace note on B, close the channer, D grace note on low G, and open. Again, G grace note on B, close the channer, D grace note on low G, and open the channer. Here's how that sounds. <laughs> Same thing on C, G grace note on C, close, D grace note, and E. Here's how that goes. <laughs> And now accelerating. Okay. From D, you're going to make that high G grace note on the D, which is your melody note. Close down the chanter to low G. But this time you're going to make a B grace note on low G and then open the chanter to E. So let's go through that again. High G grace note on D. Close to low G. B grace note on low G and open to E. Again. G grace note on D. Close. B grace note open. High G grace note on D, close, B grace note, open to E. Here's how that sounds. <laughs> Now 
Now a lot of people say, oh, I can't make that B grace note. Well, yes, you can. The trick here is to make sure that your thumb is between these fingers. If you're up here, it's very hard to get that finger to move without other fingers moving with it. Balance that grip and you can move that finger quite easily. So a balanced grip cannot be overemphasized or stressed. This is something you should have learned when you were first beginning piping, was a balanced grip. This is an unbalanced grip. This is a balanced grip and it allows that finger to move easily without taking the other fingers off the channel with it. So let's do some more D lem los. <laughs> Okay, now if you're on E, you're going to go back to the G grace note on E. Remember your pinky's off when you're on E. So now you've got to close the channel to low G, make that D grace note on low G, and back to E. So here we go again, E limleth, high G grace note on E, close the channel to low G, D grace note on low G, and up to E. Here's how that sounds. F. Lim Lois. High G grace note on F, close the chanter, D grace note on low G, and to E. High G grace note on F, close, D grace note on low G, to E. Here's how that sounds. <laughs> high G. Remember I said on high G you're going to make a high A grace note. The thumb's going to come off the channer for the high A grace note. So a high A grace note on low high G, close to low G, D grace note on low G and to E. Let's do that again. High A grace note on G, close to low G. D grace note on low G, open to E. Here's how that sounds. Okay, from high A, you sometimes will have a high A sweep with the thumb, like a high A doubling, and the rest of the lem lose. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have the sweep, so it would just be plain. Okay. Those are your left. Okay, so let's have a little exercise on them, Lewis, by going to the tune The Carls with the Breeks page 233 of the Peabrook Society collection. We're going to be doing the Lemloth and the Lemloth doubling 
of the Carls with the Breeks. The Carls with the Breeks is a class two Peabrook. How can you tell right away? First line is repeated. Okay, so here we go. The Carls with the Breeks. Line one repeated. So line two. Line three. And now the doubling of the Limlith variation. For some more um, Lim Lewis work, we'll go to uh, Black Donald's March, page 87 of the Peabrook Society. This is a class one primary Peabrook. So here we go, Lim Lewis and Lim Lewis doubling of Black Donald's March. Ready? Now the doubling. Second line. Third line. <laughs> 